was going good, other than my legs being so sore. That's the only thing that was uh, the biggest difference from playing quarterback to playing uh, receiver. What's the biggest adjustment? Is it actually catching the ball, running routes? What's the biggest adjustment moving positions? Probably the biggest adjustment, you know, just going against somebody every play. You know, you know B Tech, they play man to man, so going against somebody in front of you every play, that's probably one of the main, the main thing that's uh, different from quarterback to receiver. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> how, how does the shoulder feel like if you, if you took a hit on it? It feels, I imagine, pretty good. Yeah, I, you out there, right? Yeah, I was full going scrimmage yesterday. I was, uh, I caught it, fell on the ground, got tackled. Uh, was in the backfield, got the ball in the backfield, ran, still got tackled. I was pretty good. Braxton, as much as this is a challenge for you, you know, switching positions, is it fun in a way? Because you're, you're almost yeah. learning something new. It like is fun. Again? It is fun. It felt like I was, you know, when I was growing up, just playing all the different positions, just having fun, just getting the ball to me, and just enjoying football. Is it uh, ah, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Chase. <laughs> you a bum. That scared us all. Oh, man. Who, who got it, scared? Who, who kind of keeps it light in camp with, with how Those serious? Those guys. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jay specifically, we saw a couple of them, but, you know, how do you guys keep it light? Got dunked on. Uh, Coach Smith, man, he lightened up a lot. You know, let us go in there and listen to our music for, like, 10, 15 minutes. Then uh, we lock in and uh, watch film. Then after like another 10, 15 minutes, we listen to music again and get to talking a little bit, loosen everything up. So you keep it really uh, light. Braxton, with, uh, with your group, has anyone kind of stood out helping you guys kind of try to give you an extra hand? Yeah, my man, uh, Mike, Mike Thomas. You know, um, he helped me out a lot. And, um, you know, this is a big transition from playing quarterback for the past three, three years. And, you know, coming, coming where he came from, you know, as a receiver, his, his uncle, Keyshawn. I know you're learning a lot, so he helped me a lot. And um, on the off season, late at night, and uh, help. In what ways has Mike helped you? Uh, just simple things as doing extra work outside of the woody, you know, like, like band, you get your wrist stronger, your fingertips stronger in different type of ways, like band movements and stuff like that, little small things. Braxton, you're from Springfield, Dayton yeah. area. We know you can play basketball back in the day. And now people in Springfield want to know if you can catch the ball like you used to in basketball when you used to like to dunk on the uh, court back who, who, then. Who said that? Jim Scobie saying that. Oh, Jim. Right <laughs> but, of course. You know, can you catch it? Can you can you get it done uh, on the football field like you threw it and, and ran? Can you catch the ball like that? Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah you excited sure. about it? Yeah. I have fun, man. You know, just having fun out there. And... Just catching the ball and, and this already on the second or third level. Absolutely. All you gotta do is make make one person miss, and it's you know it's all to the races. Sweet. You are you uh, feel still the most experienced quarterback on this team. How much is yeah. uh, JT and uh, Cardell leaning on you? How much do you spend time with them, help them, give them advice, whether it be at practice or beyond? Yeah, you know me and JT, we we roommates, camp roommates, so we we talk every night. See how I did, how he did. He asked me how he did in practice, so I asked him. How did I do on that route, you know, versus man coverage and stuff like that. We just give each other tips. You know, it's just all fun. And it's uh, good to see them two guys have a competition at the quarterback position. Do you guys feel on offense you guys can have a little bit more fun now with play calling and have a little bit more trickery now that you're switching on the switching positions? You guys can have a little bit more fun? Yeah. Plus, I'm, I'm going to be in the backfield, too. I was in the <laughs> backfield a couple of times. I was with Cardell. Uh, and I was with JT yesterday, actually, during the scrimmage in the backfield running uh, running back. A little bit. Then I went to uh, wide out when Zeke came in. It's just fun, man. You know, this actually, it's like playing a video game for you. Just put any, anybody anywhere. <laughs> for real. Are you past the transition period where you're now you're, I mean, I would assume when you made this change, you were not sure if it was going to work out. Are you, you feeling like you're, you can do this now? You know what I mean? Your confidence up? Yeah, I always had confidence in myself. You know, I just felt like I wasn't ready to play quarterback fully. That's the only thing I had bad experience on because, you know, I already had one surgery, I have another one, but the process is so long playing quarterback with a torn labrum, so I'm 100%, but 100% throwing the ball is not because it's not getting the full distance where I need to be. So you got to miss being the, the voice in the huddle and, and like being the man? I mean, I still 
for myself as a, as a role in the leadership. So I don't think I'm gonna miss it. I'm, I'm still, I still got my voice in, in the huddle too, as well as a starting quarterback. Can you evaluate how the quarterback competition is going? Man, I didn't put in work every day. You know, I think the guys, I don't know what comes back. And they flip the coin, heads or tails, or whatever, taking rest with the ones and twos. But the, both guys have been doing pretty good.